Annyeong everyone! How's it going? I know it has been a very long time, but I am excited to bring you some amazing content and news. amazing chance to interview the composer of BTS's new album Love Yourself Answer and I'm so excited to share with you their thoughts, the process, and a couple of fun questions I asked too. But most importantly, this composer worked really diligently on the song Euphoria. So let's crack down and get to know what's good about BTS's new hot song Euphoria. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love Yourself Answer has just came out and it is like a total success. It's like a triple million seller. They're like on billboard all over the place. I have so much just to say about the group these days, but nonetheless, let me go on. So I was able to actually speak with the composer for Jungkook's song, which is Euphoria, and she is actually based in LA. Her name is Melanie Fontana. She is sexy, beautiful, and just a lyrical genius. She knows what she's making when she's making music, y'all. And so I gave Melanie a couple fun questions. She was able to reply to me and break down what she thought. So I'm gonna, you know, give you some of the deets and there's also some fun video clips that I'm going to share with you as well so you can just get a feel of who Melanie is, the work she does and the effort she puts into creating these Korean albums. Let me tell you a little bit about Melanie Fontana. She is like more than five times a platinum award songwriter. Like, I mean, that that's as legit as you can get. A platinum songwriter? Bruh. She has songs that she released with, you know, Britney Spears, Justin Bieber, The Chainsmokers, you name it. Anyone who's like big with a hit song, Melanie wrote it. Shockingly enough, she worked with Girls' Generation, FX, Minzy from 21. Like when she told me all this and I saw the proof, I could not believe it. I was totally like dumbfounded. She was making some jams like that I was bumping out to in like the early 2000s. So like, thank you Melanie, you did good. She did some justice to the Korean music scene. God bless yourself. So I first asked the lovely Melanie, who was the first Korean act or group that you ever worked with? She said she started working with Girl Generation in 2012 and then it started snowballing from there and she started getting more gigs with other popular artists through SM such as FX. So then, I wasted no time honey, I asked Melanie, how did you get involved with BTS? A girl's gotta know. She got involved with BTS through a personal friend named DJ Swivel. So he actually co-produced the instrumental for Euphoria, but he also worked on different songs, tracks, and albums with BTS in the past. Then I wanted to know what went through Melanie's mind when she created Euphoria. Check out the video clip, she's gonna let us know right now. Wow, what went through my mind? when composing the song Euphoria? Well, lots of things went through my mind, but the main thing that went through my mind when I was writing Euphoria is making the chorus as big and singable as possible so that uh, even the people that are fans of BTS that maybe don't speak Korean could at least sing along with the melody in the crowd. Um, and I wanted it also to be very heartfelt. I wanted it to feel um, I wanted it to feel good here. Sweet answer, right? I mean, honestly, the song is very easy to sing to, and I'm happy that she really incorporated an English chorus because, you know, Korean fans can sing to it. Of course, the American fans can sing to it. Latin America, even Europe, all that jazz, like, everyone's gonna be singing it. And then I was curious, since, you know, it is Jungkook's song on the album, did she work with Jungkook personally, or did she work with any other members to compose, um, you know, some of the lyrics for this song? Oh no, it was, we worked satellite, so I never got to meet BTS. Uh, there wasn't a member that I, I got to work closely with, but uh, I can imagine it would be so much more fun if we were all in the same room together. But I was in LA and they were in Seoul. And then, I was a little curious. If Melanie could date any of the BTS members, who would it be? Well, I'm a married lady. 
But if I could date one of the members, it would have to be Jungkook, obviously. He sang the crap out of Euphoria. I'm happy she didn't say J-Hope because more for me. Okay, J-Hope is, he mine. So where's, well, you see, I already got my breath mints on handy. Aside from BTS, are there any other artists she would like to work with in the future? That of course she would like to work with more artists, and the artists that she's really interested in right now are mostly SM artists, such as EXO, um, Taeyeon, Red Velvet, and even CL, because you know CL finally is making moves. Try to make moves. That's about time. So anyways, you know, she wanted to work with these artists, and I think it's really dope that Melanie is able to even work with some of these artists. So I think after finding success from working with BTS, you will see more of her in the future composing more of your favorite songs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think and who else you would like me to interview. I'm going to link some of Melanie's like social media down below under my titties so you can check out more about her, get to know her, follow her, and see what other exclusive projects she'll be working on next. I hope you enjoyed this little mini exclusive interview and all the fun things I could provide for you. And I will have more stuff for you in the future. So keep on watching. Annyeong! Bye bye!